All right. We are live. We are joined again, once again, by, I, I, I consider us kind of friends, right? Yeah. Uh, it, with, yeah, right. I, I, we're joined here again by Tristan Stelt, not, not just a one-time state champ, but now you're two-time state champ. Two times, two times. So we want to kind of talk about this season a little bit, and I know it's not going to take long. I mean, season's what, a couple months long? So, uh, But want to talk a little bit about your run here this year, because it wasn't just your state title. That was great. I mean, you guys also won a team title as well, right? I mean, you guys killed it again. So yeah. how many times is that for the team now? Um, I think it's five times. Five times uh, without the or throughout the history of Fenimore. Really? Uh, third, how many third, in a row? Third consecutive, so. Third. Ooh. Three yeah. feet. All right. Yeah, yeah. Gotta yeah, get it we got, we got four times. There you go. Yeah, we got four. You, you got some. You guys got some catching up to do. So that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, though. That's awesome, though. That's it. What's that kind of? I mean, because uh, you know, Liam talks about it a little bit because he got his title and plus the team got the title. Like, what to you? Since you won one already, uh, uh, an individual title. What does it mean to you having both of those kind of rolled up into one? Does that feel a little? Does that is that a little bigger for you? Oh yeah, definitely. I think. Um... Especially that my dad's the coach, I think it means a little bit more too. Um, yeah, I, I'm tied very close to just the the team, and then also just the the name Fenimore. I think um, as a community, it kind of brings everybody together when you can do it as as a whole, um, so yeah. to speak. So um, to be able to do it individually and then also um, have a very good team and do it as a team is is very awesome. It's very unheard of too, or um yeah for more for most schools so yeah uh, definitely pretty definitely pretty cool so when you now that this is number two and obviously you're going to be going into your senior year you've probably been getting a little attention right so talk us through that a little bit what what did you notice starting out this year because last you know last year was your first one then this year coming in what were you starting to get attention right away um, like, uh, colleges like, reaching out to yeah. you, things like that. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's like that, that day, uh, it's June 15th. I think of your sophomore year is the first day yep. you can get our, uh, colleges are legally able to recruit you. Um, yep. so, uh, on that day I had, I had a good number of texts from a bunch of different colleges and, right. um, it was pretty, it was a pretty, uh, cool feeling it was like a kind of a little bit of a dream come true of mine you know I, I think a lot of kids kind of dream of that when they're young is always having like some sort of option right or yeah uh, yeah uh, some that attention i guess you could say um sure. so uh that's very cool and yeah um i wouldn't say the i mean the st two state titles definitely help but i think some some things you do in the summer and then just like some wins that you get also help and then uh, sure. I think the way you also probably just present yourself um, on the mat and then uh, off the mat um, in school, all all the things kind of yeah. add up. Um, so, you know. Well, I, you're you're a good kid, man. I mean, for someone to not pay attention to what you got going on, it'd be kind of ridiculous. I mean, like you said, the off season, you've been pretty successful there as well. So, putting those things together, and now again, the state title, like. To me, and just in my eyes, and kind of thinking of because I've never been as good as you guys are when it comes to wrestling. Like, period. You guys, you guys are way beyond. I played soccer, and I would say like you guys can't compete to me in soccer, but wrestling, you guys definitely, you guys got it, man. So, when when it comes to that, was the off season stuff a little bit more important to you then, as as far as last year and in, in trying to accomplish that? Because it sounds like a lot of times once Fargo, once you go through Fargo and get that done the coaches really are paying a little more attention with the success and stuff like that. So what did that kind of, how did that culminate for you kind of going into the off season? Yeah, I think uh, like for majority of probably schools around the area, I'd say the off season is very important because I think their schedules probably aren't like very hard. I guess you could say maybe they don't go to like, um, some national tournaments or uh, yep. get some of that college attention. Get um, your name out there. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I would say that our uh, for off season, um, the tournaments in the off season are definitely way more important um, yeah. than the regular season. I think a lot of kids um, 
that are very good in Wisconsin right now kind of put a lot more emphasis on freestyle Greco as it is. Um, sure, sure. So I think the Fargo is a big tournament. Um, yep. Super 32, that's a big tournament. So yep. Um, yep. just yep. going to those two and getting big wins, you know, sometimes you don't have to place, but getting a big win, maybe getting a ranked win, um, yeah. it goes a long way. And, you know, it just takes a couple college coaches to notice. And, and the next thing you know, they're, they're kind of on your tail. So. Well, well, it's word of mouth, too. I mean, because you think about some of these assistant coaches and stuff like that, they're all around each other at Super 32. They're like, hey, you, did you check this kid out? They don't necessarily want that kid to go away, because they, but they talk, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. So what are your – what b- besides Fargo, what are your plans this off season for wrestling? Where do you plan on trying to get to? Um, Like, just, like, goals? Tournaments. Tournaments, yeah. Uh, like, where do you so, plan to go to? Um, at the end of April here, I'm going out to extra U20s. So um, that's going to be an nice. a cool experience. Um, wrestle some college guys. Um, yeah. It's going to be rough. It's, I mean, uh, there's a lot of good guys in Wisconsin that went out there last year and then too too hot. Didn't do too hot. Um, just the the age gap is pretty significant. Um, yeah. So, but I want to get my feet wet with college competition. I talked to Ben about it. I talked to my dad about it, and um, you know, we're going to go give it all we got and have fun with it. So after that, sure. I'll, uh, I'll do the um, state tournament in May yep. and then uh, probably uh, Northern Plains and then okay. Fargo and then probably maybe uh, something in between there or whatnot. But that's usually kind of the rough outline of how the off season yeah, goes. Yeah. And then okay. from there, after Fargo, it's just straight into fall tournaments and super 32. Right. Well, we'll definitely see it on a Super 32. That's a, that's an, that's been an every year pilgrimage since Liam's like seventh grade year. So yeah, definitely, definitely a tough one. Uh, as you can tell, I'm in my car because the <laughs> grind is real and I get, get Liam to practice. So yeah. um, I, I'm, I'm joining you from just a, a desolate location to be unknown. Uh, awesome. <laughs> but so with, with your schooling right now, you're getting some attention. The schools you're looking at, uh, do do you have any idea of like what you're kind of thinking you want to do going into college? Like, what do you think you want to go to school for? I know it's early and a lot of you guys are young, but sometimes some of you guys get that life experience out there and you're kind of like, Hey, I, I think I might like this. You got any thoughts of what you might uh, want to get into? Yeah. Um, I want to go to get a business major, um, either right. in finance or selling insurance. So, um, that's kind okay. of, I, I have a rough idea of kind of what I want to do. Um, I'm not yeah. too science, so that kind of, uh, <laughs> at least, I mean, I'm not, I don't enjoy science. I shouldn't say I'm not too good at it. I just don't enjoy it as much as probably uh, right. as math. So, uh, <laughs> math hard, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, well, and I think, I think a lot of you guys have the consensus. I mean, even listening to some of these college guys that might have that one more year left that they could possibly use, but they're like, I don't know if I really like school that much to like, you know, <laughs> yeah. continue it on. So I definitely feel you there with, with uh, the colleges you've been looking at so far, have you taken any like unofficial trips? Like, are you planning on like, what kind of schools are you looking at? Give us a little, little inside. Yeah. So, uh, so far I've done a official to NDSU um, last fall. So that, that was a great trip out there. Really enjoyed it. And, uh, awesome. took an official to, um, actually Wisconsin. And, okay. uh, I just took uh, official this, this weekend to book now. Um, okay. so we got a few more thing, a few more lined up and, uh, I've been talking nice. to some other schools. So, um, just excited for what the future holds and, uh, sure. kind of just keeping my options open at, at this point. Oh yeah, totally. Totally. I mean, you got to you know, a whole year left yet to kind of scope things out and get a feel for things. Uh, so are you kind of on the path of uh, like the weight that you're at, you're hopefully able to keep, or do you think you're going to change weight when you get into college? Um, my dad wants me to get big. So uh, <laughs> um, we actually, uh, we had a conversation with Ben the other day and uh, um, Ben wants me to kind of go one way and uh, we're going to, we're getting big too. So we, we kind of have to, feel things out a little bit, but, um, uh, yeah, probably in college, I'm, I want to look to be probably like a 65, 74, um, okay. in, in college, it's, it's a different world, right? So yeah, uh, the 74 and 65 pounders are obviously a lot bigger than the high school 65 and 74 pounders. So I guess I just yeah. kind of have to see how my body develops and, and grows. Um, 
I, uh, I think I'm kind of done growing, uh, but now it's just a matter of putting on the muscle and seeing, seeing how strong I can get. And, and what. Yeah. I think Liam lives on the fact that the doctor told him he's going to be six foot tall. And I'm like, buddy, I'm like five ten. So is your mom. It ain't <laughs> yeah. so Doesn't it's just a, no, no. Right. So, and that's kind of the thing like we're the, that we've been looking at too, because as you're looking at these colleges, you got to think about the lineups that they have too, because I mean, of course you want to start at some point. If everybody's smart, they're going to most likely redshirt, right? Kind of get a feel yeah. for the college scene. But uh, has that been a balance of what you've been looking at too? Like who these guys have in their lineup versus, man, I would love to go to school here, but I'm, I don't know what it's going to be like for me to kind of, you know, get into the room and be able to make some noise. Yeah. Um, not really right now. Like it's no. just, it's been just kind of what, just feeling out what school is like the best situation for me in order to achieve success. Um, okay. I think I don't, and uh, I feel like a lot of kids in college and I'm not saying anyone in particular or anything. I'm just, mm -hmm. I think there's a, a lot of kids that they get to college and they kind of settle. Um, they kind of settle on a scholarship or they schedule or settle just on the fact that they went D one and I kind of want to, I want to put my name on an all American wall. I want to put my name in a national championship wall. So, um, just whatever school I feel has the, the best opportunity for me to achieve that is probably where I'm, where I'm going to land and, um, never really looking at who's there or what, who they recruit or whatnot. It's just, uh, believing in the coaching staff and, and the resources and the culture. Yeah. You get a good feel for some of the coaches when you go in there, like, how's that been kind of talking to you are you able to kind of read the room a little bit be like yeah, i don't know about this one or you know kind of thing yeah um yeah you definitely get like different vibes with different teams um yeah like uh like i just this past weekend i went on a visit to Bucknell, and it was just a great i love the team um the team was great um they're a tight yeah. knit group of guys and they, they're all goal oriented um which was nice and then ndsu i really liked hayden Hidley and uh getting to talk to him yep. Um, as long as are along with OB and, uh, Spencer. So, um, yep. it's, it's great getting to talk to those guys like, uh, reader reader too. He's a great one. So, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely, you get a different vibe for different types of colleges, but yeah, they're all D one. Right. So they're all right. going and, uh, yeah. it's just kind of, it's, it's more just feeling out the, the place and the, and the setting and the culture, right I'd say. Have you noticed it, Cause I, I know I've talked to a couple of guys about, you know, when you go to a school, I think the biggest thing that you really need to pay attention to is your surroundings. Cause if you don't know, if you don't like where you live, you're not going to be happy. Right. Yeah. So what do you think your vibe is? You think you're a small town guy, you think you're big town kind of like, uh, you know, gopher type, you know, dinky town type situation. What do you think you're into? Yeah, I don't know. Um, that's actually been a conversation that me and my dad have had um, cause he thinks that I should, I've lived in a small town my whole entire life, rural area. Correct. And he yeah. thinks that I should get out and, and um, experience a little bit of city life and what it's like. And um, yeah. you know, it, in, in college, I want to be focusing on wrestling too. So it's, it's not really like um, I'm going to have too much time to be hunting or fishing or whatnot. So um, I right. think, being in a small town and being in a big city, it's not going to really matter for me um, because regardless, I think I'm just going to be wrestling the whole entire time. So, right. <laughs> He's gonna, you're going to be in a dorm room or, or your apartment, or you're going to be in the wrestling room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep, so, um, That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So as this season starts, you know, we're coming to an end with the school year and you're right now, like Liam's getting ready for us open and got the PNL this weekend, things like that. But, what are your goals now? Because you, you, how many seniors graduated this year from your team? Oh shoot! Um, it's it was a big class. I want to say like somewhere around ten. I don't ten, eleven, maybe. Okay. Not the exact number. Okay. Um, quite lost, a few starters, I think, though. Right? Yeah. Lost yeah. Union, Wyatt, um, Grazzi, um, yep. some good ones. So. You guys are a wrestling factory, though, so I think you'll be able to bring in and fill. So you kind of like us. You you got guys waiting in the background, just waiting to take in a spot. So yeah, yeah. What have, are? Go ahead, go ahead. Um. Yeah. No, I was just we have like forty five guys or something on our team. So um, yeah, we'll fill in. <laughs> we'll, we'll have no problem filling in. We'll we'll uh, pretty good. Yeah. 
So what what are you guys kind of – are there things you guys got to kind of work on this year as, as, as far as maybe you haven't had to in the past years of just getting guys in the room, getting better, bringing them in, make sure they're spending a little bit more time? Because I know some of those guys, if they may have gotten a couple varsity matches and things like that, but – what what are you expecting from you know your group this year as far as kind of going into that state run? Yeah, no, it's the I mean the expectation for everybody kind of remains the same. Like uh, everybody is expected to perform. Everybody we're still expecting to win a team state title. Um, so uh, mm-hmm. for the guy that comes up in Ian's spot or the guy that's coming up in Drew's spot, you know it's it's a or uh, Evan spot. Sorry, uh, it's the yep. same exact thing. It's it's you know put a lot of time in and and yep. reap the benefits and in, in the winter. And so um, the expectation for everybody is the same, you know, <laughs> yeah, got to get that four. Um, <laughs> and uh, I think as a team, we do really well, like just keep holding each other accountable and yeah. uh, make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to in order to like meet a success. So yeah, um, I agree. We, I agree. We a very good group that way. So. I've noticed, you know, too, like even like with Kakana and how those guys kind of in the beginning of the season, everybody's kind of weird. They're not really used to the season yet. There's weight room, all that other stuff. And then you guys seem like like us when you get towards that end of the year, it seems like things seem to kind of glue together a little more. Yeah. People start to understand the goals just a little bit more and they want to they, they know the excitement. I think I think the excitement is what really builds and everybody wants to be a part of that. And it kind of. I think people kind of zero in a little bit more on what their job is on the team. Right. For sure. And, yeah. Yeah. And it, it also helps that like, um, we also understand that it's also a long season for some of those guys. So it's like, yeah. we don't want to be hitting a peak in November or December. Right. We want to be hit, hitting a peak February and March. So just yep. understanding how the season lays out and, uh, where we want to kind of peak out at also. So for sure. For sure. So, you know, obviously we had the state youth tournament come around and I had made a post about kids cutting weight. Right. Um, I, I know like when, when Liam was little and I don't know how your dad dealt with this, probably about the same as we did. Liam's always wrestled up, right? We, he's always wrestled. If it was, if he was a couple pounds lighter, whatever, we're not going to worry about the weight cut, you know, kind of thing. I think the biggest thing that Liam ever did, biggest cut he ever did was going to super 32 the first time. We're like, I just want you to be a little more competitive but it was maybe five pounds, right? So it wasn't horrible. What What were some of the things? Did you wind up doing any cutting like that as a kid ever? Never. never. I was uh, like Thank you. skinny, never lifted, um, just just wrestled. Well, I yeah, I didn't never cut weight. Just weighed in at, at what I was, and I I think that that is a big problem with kids kind of getting burned out. Um, yep. Sometimes their parents or coaches want to cut them. And yep. it's just not, it's not the right thing to do at a young age. You know, it kind of, it's, it's not focusing on what's important within the sport. It's, it's, you know, you got to develop the love first. So, um, right. That's right. Yeah. And losing I, part of that, losing is part of that love. Mm-hmm. You know, Absolutely. I mean, I think it's the biggest aspect because in you, you brought it up. It's either the parents or the coach. And I think it's 99.9% the parents because half of them are living through their kids. Yep. And and, and and it's it's easy to get caught up in that. You know, it's easy to, to get caught up in once your kid does start doing well, you want them to keep doing well. So you're looking at what Bobby Joe down the road is doing with their kid. And so, oh, well, he cut this much weight. To go, well, he my kid can do that, you know. Yeah. And I think you guys as a whole, once you get to this point, especially where you're at, where you guys have to start making these big decisions about where you want to go, even just going to school in general, not even a sport involved, the decision making has to be given a little bit more, I think, when it comes to like high level athletics. And I think you guys have to be, you know, now I don't even tell, like, I used to tell Liam where he was wrestling. Yeah. Now I don't tell him. Now it's an asking, you know, like, yeah. hey, there's this tournament. Here are the weight classes. Where do you want to wrestle? Yeah. He still chooses up, you know, because who likes cutting? Yeah. Cutting sucks. Yeah. I know. yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, I agree. So I, I think the happiness portion, I think, needs to come along with just the, just the experience of being able to go out and compete at a high level. And I think with you guys, especially now, knowing the things that you need to accomplish and watching some of the matches you guys go through, that weight cut is a big – and sometimes they talk about college guys like, oh, it shouldn't have mattered that much he's been doing it. Just because he's been doing it doesn't mean it's been working for him, right? Like doesn't mean it's been something that's comfortable for him. 
So I, I'm kind of interested to see your take on going into college and the expectations, because I know that a lot of these college coaches are going to, Hey, we want you to cut like 15 pounds, right? We want to, so, cause you mentioned getting bigger and okay, that's what Liam's going to be doing too. Cause he'd like to stay at the 165, right? Mm. So he'd like to just get bulked up and, and drop down. What are your thoughts about going into college and that possible cut like that at a higher level? Now we're not talking about youth, right? We're not talking about just Wisconsin youth state, you know, titles. We're talking about college, trying to accomplish things. How hard do you think it is going to be for you coming into that environment, knowing that there may be that type of expectation? Yeah. Um, well, I'd say like for youth, um, I'd say it's all process. I wouldn't even say outcome. There's no, it's just, just worry about the process. Right. And yep. when, you get to, yep. when you get to a stage, maybe when you're 16, maybe when you're 17 or whenever you maybe think you're, you're done growing or, or what the deal is. Um, and you have goals you want to achieve right now. Now you've, yep you're putting more emphasis on the outcome. I think that's when you can kind of start considering, all right, maybe I want to get down to my lowest fighting weight. Um, yeah. Maybe I want to cut it, cut to that uh, next lowest weight. Right. And in college, you know, you'll see a lot of guys cutting a lot of weight. Sometimes it pans out and sometimes they're, they're really big for the weight and they do well. Um, I, I'd say this, I think when you're in college, you're probably surrounded with a lot of good um, and smart nutritionists that know what they're doing. Sure. Right. Yeah. Um, they're not cutting water out the last week yep. or not, and just starving it <laughs> off. Um, it's probably a diet that you're going to consistently be on for a long period of time. Um, sure. So I would say in college, the outcome is, is more important, right? So um, yep. that means a lot, a lot of guys are going to um, do more to lose weight and, you know, it, and whatever the situation is right. And in college, maybe I'm in a situation where the coach wants me to go up. Maybe I'm in a situation where he wants me to go down. Um, sure. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a problem going down just because now and where I'm at, it's, uh, it's, I'm a little bit more mature. I know how to handle it. And sure. I understand yeah. it's kind of a part of a sport at, at an older age. I totally get it. Totally get it. Now, I don't know if you saw, uh, but NFH, NFHS is going to look at changing some rules up. Did you see that? I did not see this. No. So three point takedown. Out of bounds is like, I think it's like a toe. So you guys, they're talking about changing the high school rules to almost what college rules are. Yeah, I think I, I think I did see that um, on on uh, some sort of post or it might have been Facebook yeah. or something. But yeah. What, are, did, what are your thoughts on that? I'd love it. I'd love it. Yeah. I, I, I think if college is doing it right, and I kind of, um, you kind of have to expect this coming once college, because I feel like college kind of, paves the way and then high school is to That's follow. Yeah. Yep. So, um, I, I really think it's a good idea. I think if college is doing it, you might as well get the high school level prepared. And yeah. so I agree. I adjusted. And I think it's, it makes for better wrestling. It makes for more exciting wrestling. Um, especially the edge, right? I think the edge is such a, sure. uh, a missed called thing in high school. Right. I think yep. it's, it's very, it's a big gray area, I guess you could say. Yep. So Big time. I think it would just be a lot easier. It's just, Hey, one point, in, one point in contact well, and you're in. And I thought that as well. I mean, even with the education side of it is like, if you guys are going to be making this choice of what I'm going to do for the next four years to kind of decide what my life is, why wouldn't you want kids number one in high school being able to take courses that are going to get them ready to get into not just these basic, got to take physics, got to take calculus, got to take this, yeah, the stuff that you have interest in to finally kind of get you into the college mode. I, I think as far as these rules with, with wrestling, I think it's great. Yeah. It is preparing you guys now to get into that next level. It's not a giant shock and you got to change your game up a little bit more now because everything's changed. So yep. yeah, yeah. I'm on the same page with you on that. So, um, well, Hey man, we've had you on for quite a while. I know that you've got, uh, some training to do probably. And plus you've got, uh, probably some, who knows homework. I don't know, but yeah, wanted to get you on. No, no homework. Oh man. Always homework. Smart. Always homework. Always homework. Okay. All right. Good. Good. I want to make sure <laughs> that you're, that you still got something going on, but either way, I really appreciate you taking the time and jump on, uh, let your dad know, uh, I'm going to be pulling his butt on too, because we got to talk about, uh, how, what he's going to do to get four. Um, cause I know that's going to be pretty important for him. So, um, have fun, enjoy the process, my friend, enjoy it.
because I know I can't wait to find out what you decide, but I just get excited finding out where you guys are going because yeah. finding out who you guys are and kind of learning who you guys are and you start to hear the, oh, he went to here. I was like, I think you'd get along with that coach. I think that room would be well. And then you start making guesses. And then I start putting posts out. I think he's going here. And yeah. then I'm completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> So it's fun watching you guys, but it, I appreciate you coming on, man. Enjoy the process. Uh, I'm going to talk to you one more time quick, just like I have every other time, yeah. but um, we're going to let everybody go. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to get over to my, uh, my song that I got to play here to, to lead us out. I'm on my phone, so it's completely different, but um, peace guys. Mm -hmm.